All right, guys, welcome back. I decided to do the upgrade before the official release date for Butsu Mate 22.04. I guess you could say I was a little bit impatient. More information at Ubuntu-Mate.org. So the update process went well, no glitches, but problems with flat packs, and maybe you guys can help me out. Now, I know there's been some controversy in the, in the community of flat packs versus snaps. My personal preference is the one that works, but flat packs for me so far in Ubuntu Mate beta, keep in mind it's a beta, it does not work. So let's try this. Let's install ungoogled Chromium, which evidently it's only available as a flat pack. That's kind of disappointing, but let's try this and see what we have. So it's installing, and normally I install snaps, never had an issue with snaps. Let's click open, and something went wrong. Uh, ID, LD config failed, exit status 256. This is one of the things I've always hated with error messages from Linux in general. For most people, these just don't make any sense. But that being said, you guys can help me out, I have a feeling. What does this mean? Because I've never come across this before. So let me know what this means because flat packs for now, in the non-finalized Ubuntu Mate do not work. But let's move on. There is a couple new pieces of uh, software. Let's try weather. And I actually have this installed in my standard Ubuntu, hourly and daily, and, and daily, not daily. Uh, keep in mind that you can always add the standard weather applet. Just click add to panel on the panel at the top. And this is my favorite weather application for all of Linux. And clicking on the weather, it looks like it's going to be cold in the 30s in springtime, which makes the weather very unstable. All right, something else that's new, maps. Let's take a look at maps. Uh, I'm not sure I would use maps, but it's there. Okay, the next thing we have is clock. And I believe this is world clock. So we have world alarms, stopwatch, and timer. Uh, let's add a world clock. Let's try Rome. We have different variations of Rome. I do not want Jerome, United States. Let's try Rome, Italy. And that is going to be six hours later, which is correct. Okay, so right click here. We have some new wallpaper. Jammy jellyfish. I have this one right now. Let's see, we got this one here. Well, that's colorful. Let's leave that the way it is there. Some shortcuts here on the desktop. This is my OBS uh, screen recorder right now. That's why it's flickering here. We have my home folder. I, I, I just added a 20... 22 general folder the panel i prefer it at the top of course you can right click like i said ubuntu mate and mate in general famous for the panel applets this really hasn't changed over the years and these are quite stable and some shortcuts here including the drop down menu here which is nice we have some firefox web browser some sm player audacious rhythm box vlc sound settings very nice i do like this dark theme from yaru by the way all right so Shortcuts here at the top that I add to panel, the drop down Mate menu, and I'm sure you've seen this before. Control panel. Yeah, very nice dark theme here. I won't go through all of the applications that are installed, but uh, speaking of themes, if we go to theme, and we have a Yaru theme, I believe is new. Lots of choices here. We can go light. Whoa, that's bright. Um, let's try this one here, dark. Yeah, okay, I think that's a little better. You can customize this also. Controls, window border, window border, icons, pointer, and uh, yeah, very nice. This works the way it should. If I go to the tweak tool here, and we have, if we go to panel, I have some customized panel settings here, and you can change this to Contemporary, Cupertino, Familiar, M Mutiny, Pantheon, Redmond, and Traditional. Let's see if Mutiny works without breaking something. Okay, so there you have there, similar to the old Ubuntu Unity look. I think I'll go back to the way that I had it, which I labeled TOS. Reload. See if that works. Yeah, and it's here at the bottom. Let's go ahead and move this to the top. So we'll go to uh, Properties. 
again, very easy to use. And there you have it. Let's go ahead and move this, move the weather to the right. And let's go ahead and lock that so it doesn't move again, hopefully. Let's take a look at the system monitor. All right, so Ubuntu Mate 22.04, Jammy Jellyfish. And with the recorder, about two and a half gigs running everything, which sounds about right. CPU usage, as I'm looking here, yeah, very lightweight as well it should be. So overall, a nice improvement from the previous Ubuntu Mate. Keep in mind, this is an LTS long-term long support release for three years, I do believe. So yeah, this works the way it should now. I will end this by saying I don't normally recommend you doing updates before the final release, especially if you're not an experienced Linux user. Definitely don't do that. Wait till the final LTS. And you normally get a pop-up saying, hey, there's a new, uh, new, uh, new version of this. Would you like to do the upgrade? That's when you should do the upgrade. But I did it, and it went well. Now, the only glitch, like I said, are the um, flat packs. So if you guys know what's going on with that, and I'm sure that'll be corrected with future updates, uh, but for right now, I think I'll stick with the ever reliable snap packages when I need them. I don't normally install snaps or anything else except the default packages, in this case, .deb files. But if you guys know what's going on with flat packs, let me know because right now it is broken in this version of Ubuntu Mate. Otherwise, Ubuntu Mate is still one of the best Linux-based systems in the world, and I highly recommend it. Try it out. Let me know. Take care.